Hello, everybody. Welcome to the episode 60 world tour of our single player world. Uh, first of all, if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. If you guys have joined us in between the last few episodes and are looking for a bit of an update, welcome to the channel. If this is what's brought you guys here, welcome to the channel. And of course, everybody else, how's it going, guys? Today, we're going to get started with a little bit of a, an older area in this world because it's episode 60. We haven't actually got really old areas. It's been going for now less than four months. And we've got a lot of stuff done. So first of all, I want to get started with my favorite build straight off the bat. And then we'll slowly move around here, going from each city that or village that we've built, showing off those sorts of things. Maybe a few of the th smaller things on the side as well. There's quite a bit of stuff to show in this world. So hopefully we'll get through a, a lot of it. I do not know how long this will take, but let's take a quick flight over to the ship. A few things before I carry on any further, by the way, guys, is... We do have a world download, and this is definitely my favorite world download that I've ever put out, obviously. I mean, this is my favorite time the world, <laughs> this world has been here, but also between this series and my last series, uh, this one's got the most cool stuff to walk around, have a look at. So if you guys want to download it, I'd recommend probably clicking on it now so you guys can start downloading it while this video's playing, and hopefully by the end of it, you'll get quite a bit further through the download instead of having to wait for it. And also, a quick thing, this is actually a copy of my world. So if we do go into creative or anything for whatever reason during this, uh, and I, I do have a command running to make sure the sun is up at the top. Uh, so we definitely won't be using this world afterwards. So just so you know, just so you know, we'll go back to our normal save. Right now, this is my ship. And I wanna quickly explain to you guys what's going on here. This build was something I've tried in my last world. Very, very small scale. And I thought ships were going to be one of the most difficult and like painful things to have built. But this build, for some reason, was such an enjoyable thing. And not only that, we managed to get every piece of it to be in scale to what I wanted to put into it. So it was just such an enjoyable build. One of the few ones that somehow worked from the start. And I, I just loved it the whole way through. Now, what I really, really love about it is, as I say, everything was to scale. We've got little rooms like this where we, we've got, for instance, little details like a keg, some crates. By the way, that's what the note blocks are. Crates, normal chests, whatever we can do with vanilla Minecraft, of course, we, we do it. And then up here, I'll go around this netting over here. Great ideas. And also, the really cool thing about this was just the amount of input that we got from people in the community telling me what to do. For instance, this was not me making this. Of course, this is very difficult to actually get a proper wheel on the ship because... You can't get anything that's a fraction of a block that way and that way that looks good at least. And circles, of course, are really, really tough. And if we went and wanted to go out, it was just way too large. So that's what we've got there. We've also got these sails and stuff, which I'm sure you guys saw on our way in. Then around here is our captain's quarters, which is one of my, I guess, more interesting builds because it's, it's not really a thing that I do interiors. I'm not really much of an interior person. But over here, we've got a little bit of a map. By the way, this is probably pretty useful if you guys need to find spots. But my favorite part of this is... Not that. It's this. Not that. <laughs> That's a trapdoor. Can we just click on that? Thank you. Is the sitable seat. Pretty fun. A bit of a dumb thing. But it's kind of cool. And that's what we've got there. That's the captain's quarters. So carrying on through the ship, I'll give you a very quick tour of the ship now because a lot of this now is just repetitive stuff. For instance, here we've got the crew's quarters with all of their, um, their beds and stuff. It carries on around here. Just these, these smaller things that I think are really important to the story. And for people who aren't too familiar with this world, is this world is being built with the idea that everything in it has a story behind it. We've got a reason for building stuff, and, and it helps me build a lot of things. For instance, having a ship. What does the ship carry? Where does this ship go? Where does the ship come from? It's important because if you do that, you mean you've got the ship build, you've got the build that you are going to be getting the ship towards, and then also you're going to be having stuff on board. For instance, the livestock over here. This ship, for instance, is a cargo ship. I'm not sure if you could have worked that out. Uh, we've even got a little bit of a galley with obviously some coal for powering some stuff lying on the side. Uh, we've got seats. Here's the galley over here, which is for people who aren't too familiar, that's the area on the ship where people cook. It's kind of the ship kitchen, pretty much. And then if we go down one more level, let's just quickly go down one more level over here. Uh, we've got the lower level, which looks really, really awesome. Look at that with the light coming through. Obviously, if shaders are on, uh, the light's going to be pulling to the side. And another thing, by the way, these shaders are Sildur's enhanced default shaders. I'll put a link to them in the description because I know I always get asked for them and they are really, really awesome. And the reason I'm using these is because 
I could use something a bit more like crazier and I do love the crazier shaders, but they just get too dark for me when I start going in darker areas. And also I, I build this world in vanilla Minecraft with vanilla textures mostly. And I think it's important just to try and keep that feel. So that's why I really do like the enhanced default. But there's also still there's uh, vibrant shaders on the same link. So if you click that link, you should be able to find a few different types of shaders, which are really, really good. And I'd recommend them. My favorite shaders, pretty much. So that over there is a build, which was probably in our third episode or fourth episode. That was the lighthouse build, which I really, really loved. It's got the lights going around and the, just that kind of uh, living thing in the world. You know, you've got everything stationary. Having a little bit of movement like that is really, really awesome. And that's what I really love about that, along with the lighthouse keepers house. Uh, then we've got a few small builds. This was actually one of the, the things that I was thinking about when I was talking about builds off to the side in the beginning. We've got this little area here, which is to do with another bit of a story in this world, which is the ice and the fire and all the different elements in the world coming out of the ground. For instance, here's an ice shard crystal magical thing that's got a bit of bit of noises. and I'm going to go away before those drive us crazy. And a few things like that. We've got a lot of different little things around there. Now, this is one of the old builds. This was actually, this is the oldest the builds get. This was my first house. And if you guys are downloading the world, this is where all of my stuff is currently stored. So you can find everything around there. And also our first village. And the idea with this was it wasn't meant to be an impressively detailed village. It's meant to be a basic village. First of all, you can see the fire and all that sort of stuff. Very basic sort of stuff here. And the idea of this village was that we didn't have a lot of resources because we've obviously just started our world. So it's going to take a bit of time and then we can get into the more detailed builds, which we have started to move into. And that's why this one's really basic. So you might notice some things happen. I guess some things become more impressive as we go. Now, here's a, here's a thought while we walk through here. We, we try to make this world an open world and, well, it is an open world, but kind of like a game where you walk through and we are trying to make you take certain paths. I mean, I could talk, like go to this path and walk towards the lighthouse. There is a path the whole way there. But instead, what I would prefer to do is I'd prefer to get your attention as you come across this bridge. You can see there, there's, there's, that's quite clearly where you want to go. Just subtle things to move you around the world. And I'm actually just going to go F1 so we don't have all this stuff around here. So you see there, just very simple things around the world as we walk around, just getting you into this general path. So you see that, you walk towards it. And this house over here, well, building over here is actually the enchanting tower, which we want to, we want to make a bit of a story behind it. It's one of the few that have had a lot of criticism with the purple roof, but I liked it. It was something a little bit different and I, I thought it really looked kind of cool and different. And it was a challenge to, to try and build a block, a uh, full block roof, because obviously stairs and slabs make life a lot easier. Now we're moving into our, our interpretation of our own mega tiger biome, I guess, with our own weird trees. They, I don't know what type of tree they are. They're just our trees. They're just weird trees that we came up with. And I really like the look of them being kind of droopy. Like they are really, really massive. And in fact, we've filled up even the blocks on the inside, which is kind of a little nice thing to know. And we've obviously got a few more like that one there that just isn't completed yet and stuff like that. So that's the way this forest is looking. We'll just go through here and you can see the farm over there. That's the farm that would be supplying this village around here. Back to the story. It's just along the way, we've got little things. Think about little things, for instance. Where does the food come from for the village? There's the main farm. Stuff along these lines. And then we'll go over here. You can see a little build over the, to the side there. That's a watch a watchtower. And I don't think I've actually announced this in a video at least, but we've got two main kingdoms in this world that are sort of at war with each other. And this over here will be our kingdom on this side's flag, I guess. The, the badge that we would be seeing around the place to, to know who owns what. And I've also got another one to show you guys, which I actually came up with by mistake in a stream. And I know a lot of people have seen the old one, but I've got, I've got a brand new one. And you guys don't even know it's the old one right now. So let's quickly have a look at this inn over here, right around here. Pretty cool build. It's a little bit of a different, well, very, very much a different thing. I decided to do a huge, big roof with full blocks, which is something I'm very, very uncomfortable with. And it's the little things like that taking me outside of my comfort zone that have, have led us to get some kind of cool builds. And we, we always learn some different things. So we're going here. Be careful of creepers, nothing around. Wonderful. And we still got a lot of interiors to do here, but I, I like the idea of having the interiors coming in here eventually, at least having interiors in all of the builds. We've got a little bit of a place for you to stay around if you're here on the night. You've also got some more beds up here and then eventually you just got, well, well, huge beds up here, at least, I guess. 
and pretty much just the story as we go. You know, you're coming from one city to another. This is the inn along the way. I think that's a really, really cool thing to add to the world. So carrying on from here, we will close the door like that. And now let's just find our, there they are. We'll remember they're on five. Now we can fly back and quickly look at something which I'm not the biggest fan of. Actually, let me, before I forget this, this was something I wasn't the biggest fan of. And then I decided to destroy it. And now I am a fan of it. These are the stables, which for some reason burnt down, but nothing, none of the hay burnt, which is very weird. These hay bales just never burnt down. Kind of odd, uh, but that, that is what happened. And also this area here is empty because we are going to be putting a lot of these custom trees, like the smaller ones, sort of like those ones that we've got over there, but a bit smaller as if this is a newer area in the forest, perhaps a burnt down ones. Who knows? That's, that's what we're doing. We're just kind of going around there. And this is the Hidden Witch Hut, which has got a zombie spawner in it. And the cool thing about this is I wanted a, a, more, a more creative way of getting our zombies, at least. And if you stand around here for long enough, zombies start falling down the chimney and you can, you can kill them in there. Just a, a, little, a little touch around there. So this is pretty much this entire village done, with the exception of this bay around the back, which I can show you in a few seconds. And I guess I've got to eat as well. There we go. So this bay over here is going to have a whole bunch of these these houses in the walls at least I guess kind of hidden away from everything these guys are independent of each other a bit of a shipwreck and we're going to have a lot of just washed up debris around here from wars ships crashing and under there's a secret which I think you guys can probably go and explore if you guys do download this world and also in there's a secret which I I will leave now let's go around here to my snowy area which is an area that was going to be one of the tougher builds. And I know a lot of people avoid snow just because it's so plain and white and tough to work with. And I think that was a good challenge for us. We've got all these mountains here, custom made mountains. In fact, if you guys are new, you will find out very, very soon that I love terrain. I love trees. I love just doing these crazy big builds because I don't know. I feel like it's important to the world. It's important for me, at least to, to know that this whole world is somewhat every area is touched on at some point by us that we do our own thing. I'll just walk through. You can see the wagons and stuff like that. I feel like it's just so crazy to look at these things. And you find little things off the side. For instance, there's a fire over there, which you won't even see right now if you walked on that direction. Just little things like this. And it looks, to me, pretty, pretty cool to walk through. I just sometimes like walking through all of the, all of the crazy hours that we've put in already. And it's starting to pay off. Obviously, the, the custom terrain as well. Very, very cool. There we go. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just walk around here. Now this village over here, let's let's quickly give you a rundown on this. And I'm, I'm by, by the way, I'm going to cut up the video a little bit right now after this because we're going to go to the other side of the world after this piece. But this village over here is what we call the Snowy Village. We've got our own names for them and I'll confirm them when they're confirmed. But this one we call Frusendal. It's meant to be a, a Nordic kind of name and I've butchered it anyways, but you know what? That's what it is. And when we walk in here, we've got... The, the idea, at least, of this one being an, air, an area that was a pretty good area to attack. And these guys are ready for war or whatever's going to be happening. And I think that's kind of cool. And, and they weren't originally planned. Let's, let's put it this way. This village was a village that's here, and now it's in the way. That's probably a better way of saying it. So they've got all these, these towers around here looking out. Just some small details again. For instance, the coal that the village would need. Because this is a cold village. That's where they would be storing their coal and stuff along those lines. And also, before I go any further, if you guys do download the world, there's also a little bit of a, an interesting map, if you guys want to look, made by this guy here, Dylan the dog. And that map over there is on the Discord server. So if you want to join the Discord server, there's obviously a link in the video description below this video. And you can, you can click on that. Go look in the lore section. You should be able to find a map in it. And around here, yeah, there we go. That's our, our little, what is that? Smeltery area. I like it a lot, and a few things like that. There's a wagon that was coming from shore, just like the wagon we saw along the way, a little bit of a wheelbarrow, a bakery, just odd things around the place, a burnt down house. And this is one of the funny ones, in fact. I wanted to build this house as an actual house, and I went away from my computer for a few seconds on stream, and bam, we've got ourselves a burnt down house. And I thought it was kind of cool to, to leave mistakes in, in the game. I like, to, I like to have odd things happen and leave them in, just makes it a little bit more interesting, I guess. We have a story behind each build. And also, of course, this world is split between YouTube and Twitch. There are a lot of the main things we do on YouTube, but we've also got our own Twitch areas that we would touch on. So this over here is the main community area in this world, well, in this uh, village. 
and we've decided to do a little bit of a, a table map. I've, I've got to fix up a few things, for instance, that there. I'm not a big fan of what I've got going on here, but I should be able to fix that up eventually. And obviously here we've got the armory. So this is the village ready for war. Look at that up there. A little hidden <laughs> entrance over there. Slowly but surely adding more and more pieces onto this piece. But this, this one over here is one of my more favorite builds. It's very large and it doesn't look that large from the outside. And just in general, it's a pretty cool shape inside. So we'll go up here and that is that done. And the last area that I want to show you in this is the little bar or the tavern area in here. And there's a zombie, at least it's not a creeper. Right around here. I just love the feel of it. It's very dark and I know I could put lighting in it, but I, I want to really play around with the lighting in this world. I think it's important if we can get the lights to be our own lighting colors, well, our, our own shades, I guess. Because a lot of the time you end up avoiding building some really cool things just because you, you got to light things up and it just doesn't look the same. So the future plan is to get a lot of mobs into our spawn chunks uh, to make something called a mob switch. If you guys know what that is, I'd, I'd Google it. It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty much we're going to try and make this world as peaceful as possible. So this area here is completely done and I think we've done pretty well on time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the other side of the world, which is the other kingdom that is at war with this kingdom right now. I've probably missed out one or two or maybe a few more things. I don't know. I'm sure I probably <laughs> can't think of everything that we're going to be doing in this world. But I'm going to move over to the other side now. Here is our newest area. This is a kind of, I guess, colorful entrance <laughs> compared to the last clip. Uh, this is our little flower where we've hidden our, end, our nether portal. The idea is that I don't want the nether portals to be out in the world. They don't look too good. And I like to make them hidden as, as much as we can. So let's just get through here. This is in a jungle, which is relatively close to our new city, I guess. This is actually the main city of this kingdom. And I'll quickly go up here, wait for this all to load in, and I'll explain to you the idea of this. So the other kingdom is in the forest. It's kind of a more basic kingdom. It's they they not as, as organized, not as, I guess, uh, don't have as much of a a thriving economy as this one does, let's say. So this kingdom is going to be similar to what I liken to the Imperials in Skyrim. They've got a lot of organization. They've got really big boats, really cool stuff, and are very, very neat and kind of pretty in that way. So this over here is starting the style that we're going for. Bone block, kind of gray blocks, the oak. I love the combination of those. It's probably my combination like that I would love the most out of all the blocks, to be completely fair. And my love of bone block is definitely, definitely well known. This over here is a tower and I do need to fix up the top here. This was just a lookout tower over the edge for any intruders coming in because this is in a bay. So the ocean is that way. We will eventually widen this area here and have the ocean run in this way. And that will be an area where ships can come in. All the fishing boats come in and go to this dock, which is the area that is making this place such a thriving, bustling port because that's where, that's where its trade comes from. So I wanted to show that in this. And of course, having the, the tower over here is just an important thing to have a tower. And to show the, the wealth of this place, I guess we, we want to build wealthy and also show the port. I mean, back to the story of the world. We've got the port over there that is also looking pretty, pretty well wealthy. This is a new thing. I haven't shown you guys this. Only a few people in stream would have seen this. In the fort, which is also to defend the city. Uh, we've got ourselves all of the interior is done so here we go we've got our armor over here just check for creepers there are a few spawnable spots nothing wonderful so this is where the people would live that are in this fort they've got their beds bunk beds and here is the brand new banner design look at that it's a little bit different to the old one i actually came up by accident with this one and i think it looks really really cool so we kept it the issue was the old one didn't show up on shields when i was trying to do this and i decided to give this a try and it worked fantastically so we've got the weapons racks over here, got the suits of armor with their shields over there, nothing around here. I think that looks really, really cool. And this was done in the very last stream before I recorded this, which is really cool. Going down here, we've got the jail or the prison, would this be the jail, sorry, of this area with an escape route over there. Let me show you this. So uh, back to a bit of the story in the world, we've got a prisoner that may have escaped by breaking this wall, going out of this escape route from the actual like legitimate escape route out here and left through the ocean, something like that. It's just a little bit of a story behind the prison itself, the jail. I keep saying it wrong. I'm pretty sure it's called jail. They're the same thing, whatever. We'll, we'll just carry on with it. 
Then around here, we've got the next office room over here and an exit out onto the first level, which we still have to do a few more things on. And then one more level up, we should be able to see right out here over the whole city and also any, any incoming intruders over there. Now to the docks. <laughs> this is probably the largest single building I have got that I've ever built. And we've still got a lot more to do on it. Obviously, you can see it's not finished on the sides. But the idea of these docks is that they have got these cool wings on them. They look very royal and expensive because they are, because they are very much the, the bread and butter of this, bill, this city. They are obviously where the imports come from, the exports go. And of course, also a lot of boats are going to be involved in this. So that, that is why they're very, very important. And I like the way they're looking. We've got these areas over here for ships to come in. Let me just go under here, right around there. Just things like that, small things, little details on the bottom, cracked stone, stuff along those lines. I really, really love it. And this roof over here has actually been probably one of the most difficult roofs, and that was actually last episode. So if you guys want to check out the, the crazy, ridiculous amount of work I did on this roof, uh, that was in the last episode, which was absolutely nuts. There we go. So we, we try to get this style that I came up with over there, which was actually also a bit of an accident, just slowly but surely getting the right shape there and merge it in with this one over here. And that's what we eventually landed up with. And I think it looks really, really cool. Still got the, the shape of both and kind of blends them in together. We've obviously got a lot more roof to do. This area at the back here are the offices for the docks. And I will go from the front over here and we can have a look at them from the front. And that is also a very important building, by the way, because this building is setting up what we want our style for this whole city to be. So whatever we do here, we're going to have to draw through along the rest of the way. Of course, a lot of differences in each build, but this is the, the basic, I guess, style that we're going for. And inside here, we've started adding in interior walls. No interior like decorations just yet, but just slowly but surely adding those bits in there. And I think it's going to turn out really, really good. And then eventually that connects to the docks. Now, as far as this goes, I'm pretty sure that is all the builds that I was hoping to show you guys. I'm probably going to think of something right after I finish recording this, but you know what? I'll leave that for you guys to go and explore. And of course, if you've got any, any questions or anything, the best way if you're exploring our world uh, is to go over to the Discord server. I'm sure you can ask a question in the general chat and someone will probably know the answer. So definitely click on that link down below there. And also this area here, you can see how far I've cleared out this. This isn't all going to be flat. I've just cleared it flat for now before we start adding in our own custom terrain. But that's probably going to be this distance here. Probably another two or three of those just on how big this city is going to be. It's going to be enormous. And I want it to be a really crazy large city that you just say, wow, it's going to be, it's going to be one of the biggest projects we've done, if not the biggest ever. So I'm really, really excited to carry on with that. Now, if you guys have enjoyed this video, because this is the end of the video, I hope you guys have. And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. And I would love to see you guys around here or on our Twitch channel as well, which is also in the description. But that is it for us today, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.